What's up everyone? My name is Sal Sankata and today we are here in beautiful Iceland and I'm going to show you how to take three different portraits at one location. Look, the goal as photographers is we want to be able to transform locations uh, no matter what time of day, no matter where we are in the world, no matter the weather conditions, uh, whether it's windy out or, or the sun's out or it's overcast out, we have to be able to adapt in any environment. And that is one of the main reasons that I've chosen the Photo system uh, to use in my studio, both when I'm in studio or on location. And so today what I want to be able to do is show you how I would shoot a scene like this. It's a very overcast day, um, lights coming in and out, uh, but how do I uh, shoot a location like this and make it look different? How do I transform this location? So today, we're gonna take a natural light portrait. It's gonna be beautiful. We're gonna then use uh, the Profoto A2 with a dome diffuser as fill light uh, to balance the scene, right? Not a dark, dramatic portrait, but just fill light to maybe fill in the eyes. Give me a little bit life in the eyes. I don't want that uh, dead black marble in someone's eyes. I want a little pop, but I don't want it to look flashy, right? So if you like that look, this Profoto A2 is gonna be perfect for that. And then the final one I'm gonna show you is how do we transform this scene into a dark, moody, dramatic shot, right? Where we darken down the background and the clouds and the sky uh, and then get this nice, uh, moody light. So we're gonna, we got one scene and we're gonna make it look three different ways. So. Let's get to it. Let's stop talking about it. I've got my beautiful wife. Uh, we've got her in a little bit of a Icelandic hair and a beautiful wardrobe uh, that she's gonna be using. So let's, uh, let's start making some great images. Okay, so for the first scene, we're gonna do a natural light photograph. And as I look back behind me, uh, I'm gonna have to overexpose it just a little so that we don't get dark shadows in her eyes, right? She's also wearing a black dress. Uh, so we're gonna, and we got a black sand beach. So if I don't overexpose it a little bit, uh, I'm not gonna have any of, that, any of that detail in her eyes. I'm just gonna create some really bad shadows. So this would be more of that kind of natural light, light and airy shot. Uh, the, the, you know, the pros of it, it's got a, it's got a very nice, softer look and feel, which is perfect for this. Uh, but what's gonna end up happening is we're gonna blow highlights and that sky is gonna be blown out. Yeah, sure, some of that I can recover in post-production, uh, but the truth is it, that, that's, it might not be as appealing uh, of an image for your client. So you've gotta figure out what your style is, what you like, what you don't like. And again, every scene, every location, uh, every job has different requirements. So let's go through this. I'm gonna get this uh, light, airy, kind of brighter shot and hopefully it looks good. I haven't even taken a test shot yet, so I'm anxious to see what we can do. This is just beautiful. Give me some rocking. Keep rocking, get on that toe. Bend those elbows just a little bit for me. Gorgeous looking at me. <laughs> Compared to yesterday, it's extremely warm. Um, for those of you watching, it's probably about um, 40 to 45 degrees, uh, and uh, you are here in that. And I'm, I got a coat and hat on. <laughs> I should stop talking. I should stop talking and start working. Sal, shut your mouth. All right, here we go. Beautiful smile, Alyssa. Love it. I want you looking off there to the left. More, more, more. Absolutely. Be what? I'm trying to take it. A little family, a little, a little ducks. Here we go. Gorgeous looking down to your left. Beautiful, Alyssa, stunning. Stay with it. Let me get some vertical here. This is the hardest part, is getting the balance. 
And just so you guys, you're watching, uh, I'm shooting this. I'm at F4, uh, so I do want a little detail behind her. Not too much, um, but I, I do want a little bit of a shallow depth of field. With this particular lens, I'm using a Canon uh, R5 in the 28.7 RF lens. Um, with um, It goes to F2. So I'm not shooting this at F2. I'm at F4 uh, just because I kind of I like the I need a little bit more detail. So here we go. Gorgeous, baby. Eyes of me again. Stay there. Let me get some vertical. Stunning, stunning, stunning. All right. OK, so for the next shot, right, you've seen those pictures. They are bright, airy. They look really good. Uh, I mean, they're, they're stunning. I mean, the whole styling of the shoot, it looks great. Um, you know, it's got, it's a bright light sky, but how do we fill in, you know, as I look at some of these images, even on the back of my camera, uh, how do I get, how do I give her face that, in her eyes, that little bit of sparkle? Uh, so for this, I'm going to use the uh, Profoto A2. And we're not trying to overpower anything, right? So probably I'm going to start with this at a power setting of eight. Uh, and then I'm using the uh, Profoto Connect Pro and I can actually control the power. Many of you are gonna probably have questions about this stand. Uh, one of the things I do like about this Manfrotto Nano Stand, uh, and uh, I'll, I'll try and get you guys a link for this, but if you just go to like B&H, uh, uh, Adorama, it's basically called their Nano Pole Stand. And so not only is it uh, a light stand, but it will actually separate and it'll go into a monopod as well. So it's, it fits in your suitcase when you're traveling, uh, collapses to about you know this big, so it, it will travel with you. Very, very easy to use uh, compact. So we're going to use the Profoto A2 and the uh, Dome Diffuser here uh, just to get a little bit of pop in our eyes. That's all I'm looking for here uh, for that. So I'm not looking to overpower the sun uh, or make the scene dark dramatic or anything like that. So let me get this thing set up and we'll start taking some test shots. Get dialed in real quick and you'll see how the look of the image changes from the very first shot just to where we're here, where we're at in the same location. All right, so took me a couple of frames to get dialed in. Uh, what I'm using, Profoto A2. Uh, we've got the power set to nine, uh, and I can actually control that from the uh, Profoto Connect Pro and, uh, and see the actual power outage, not just move up and down stops. I can actually see how much power I'm pushing out. We also have the dome diffuser on the front of it, uh, and that's gonna soften that light just a little bit. So I don't have to be out here, that's the key. I don't have to be out here with these big light modifiers. And you're gonna see, I am gonna bring in an Octobox out here, but it's windy. Uh, I know it's hard to hear maybe on the audio or see it, but it is windy. And having an Octobox on a light stand unmanned, uh, nobody's uh, uh, <laughs> confident enough to do that, I should say. So I'm completely dialed in. It's giving me that nice skin tone on her. It's filling it all in, and now I've got a nice looking sky, but it's balanced. It's not overpowering the scene, the light. This is great for that, like just a well balanced image. So let's start making some great shots. These are just stunning, and it's just really well balanced uh, with the scene. So we're not, you know, we don't need a whole lot of light. Uh, and we're able to get these beautiful shots. Gorgeous, stay there. Move this a little closer to you. It's not giving me the power I want. Is that accurate? <laughs> Test. There we go, one, two, one, two. Looking at that light, one, two, one, two. Chin up just a little bit. Good, one, two. Gorgeous, let me get some vertical. One, two. Looking back at me. Bring your chin to me just a little, right there, stunning. One, two, 
One, two, one, two. Chin down, looking down at that ground. Yes, love that, Alyssa. That looking. One, two, one, two. Man, if you weren't already married, I'd scoop you up. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Looking down. One, two. Uh, break that right arm for me just a little higher. It's, the, the, it's not cold. Nope. We're not in Iceland. It's not Arctic air. We're on a beach in Mexico. Yeah, we're on a beach in Mexico, man. There we go. Chin down. Eyes closed. Gorgeous. Eyes open again. Beautiful. Eyes up. Stunning. Stay there. Let me get a little closer. Get a closer one of you. I want you looking for contact. Can I not? Are you full body? I'm, I'm uh, being mid on you. So I don't have to worry about No, no, you don't have to worry about your legs or any of that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Love the left arm. Yeah, let's see what that's looking like. Here we go. Ooh, this is beautiful. Let's just stay there. One, two. Gorgeous. One, two. One more. Looking at the light. Stay there, one, two, and one, two. Perfect. Okay, all right, so hopefully you guys are digging what you're seeing so far, and you should see a very distinct difference between that first image I took, which was just a natural light photograph, nothing wrong with it, it's absolutely beautiful, but man, do we up our game when we just use a little bit of fill light, and now suddenly her makeup showing better, uh, her skin tones look a little bit better, uh, and that's all right from using that one a2 as a uh, fill light now you're seeing here for the next shot uh, i do want to go dark dramatic moody but i also want a soft light uh, so we're going to use the Profoto b10 plus with the pro photo uh three foot octa now you're already seeing right this thing is whipping around i'm not putting this on a nano stand uh, you're just waiting for something to go wrong right uh, so this has to be with a human behind it uh, holding it you know, of course, if we're in more of a production environment, maybe I've got, uh, you know, a C-stand or I've got heavier light stands and sandbags and all these other things going on. I'm not doing that here, right? It's just, I'm on a portrait session. I need to be able to move quickly. Maybe it's a high school senior. Maybe it's a wedding. We're not bringing out stands and uh, sandbags and lugging all that shit around. We have to be able to move quickly and efficiently. So this is uh, a monopod. It's by uh, Gitzo. I don't even know if they make it anymore. I got this thing about 10 years ago. Uh, and it's just a nice monopod that somebody can hold, uh, and then the three-foot octa. So this is going to be real nice and sturdy. Uh, this is going to be a little bit closer to my subject. I'm probably going to start on a power of eight, uh, because with the softbox, you're going to lose about a stop of light. I mean, it's just how anything, anytime light's firing through fabric, it's going to it's going to lose some momentum behind it. Uh, and so this will be a little bit closer. I do want the sky much darker, much moodier. Uh, but uh, one thing I will tell you to be careful of is I see a lot of photographers when they're firing light. Yes, it should match the direction uh, of sunlight that's coming in, right? It's not sunlight, but it should match the direction that humans are used to seeing light come in, right? It's coming in uh, down on the frame. But what I don't want to see is amateur hour all over the ground from light spill. So what's going to end up happening is uh, whoever's holding this for you should be leaning this light back a little bit and feathering it so that the softest part of the light is kind of starting to fall off there versus leaning it uh, straight down and forward, then you're gonna be illuminating the ground even though you may be hitting your subject, okay? So the person holding it should get it a little higher but they're gonna look like this in frame and you might think like, why are they holding that light back like that? It, it, what are they doing? I'm trying to soften the light and have that fall off, right? Inverse square law of light. How many of you uh, think about that anymore in this day and age, but you should. Uh, you should understand it, uh, but that's because I want that light fall off. So let's get to it. Let's make our final set of images. My wife is freezing behind me. She's probably going to murder me when we get back to the car. I mean, I can talk too damn much. So let's get shooting. All right, so here we go. Brandy, tilt that back just a little bit more. There we go. Gorgeous. Here we go, Alyssa. Test shot, one, two. 
stunning. And what I'm gonna have you do, I need looking at that light. So if you wanna cheat here, uh, I don't like that right arm wrapped across your body. I like that, I really do like that. Gorgeous, like the feet, hands look beautiful. You're gonna stay at me and you're gonna go with that light, all right? Let's start at the light. Here we go, one, two. Gorgeous, stay there. Here we go, one, two. Chin down. One, two. Just stunning, one, two. Come back at me. One, two. Uh, that's all right, here we go, one, two. Beautiful, one more, one, two. Looking at that light one more time. One, two. One more, one, two. One, two. One more, one, two. Stay there, I wanna get a nice beauty shot of you. Almost done, you got this. All right, staying right there. Good, looking at me, I like that. What if your arms are crossed? What if you're kind of wrapping yourself in that? Love that, good. Just lift your arm, come down with it. Yep, good, good. Love that. Chin at me, chin at the light. All right, everybody, that is a wrap. Hopefully you've gotten something out of this and you see firsthand how one location with three different light setups, you can actually change the look and feel of your final image, right? So let us know uh, if you're watching this live or on replay, let us know in the comments which one was your favorite image. Image number one, which was the natural light. Image number two, using the A2 as a fill light or image number three, my favorite, dark, moody, dramatic with the B10 Plus. Uh, on that. Some of those pictures don't even look real. Looks like we like cut and paste her uh, into the scene like on some green screen. But you saw the video so you know we were here. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one.